Yeah, call all y'all by Shem Shai. All praise and glory and honor is to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash, Shalom Labakarium Shaw Yasharala. I want to give double honors to my apostles and my teachers and my elders of Great Millstone Ruel. And Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady and your children. <clears throat> you know, just bear with me. It's 5, 5.30 in the morning, early morning. You already know, plantation. And um, through the spirit, I want to touch on, you know, some of the symbolism of, you know, the ancient... Uh, certain times in the ancient world which is uh, correlate with the Roman Empire all over again being Babylon the Great America and um, show you that even the things that um, they were doing back then you know that same idea is still you know here alright when it comes to this um, this new world order alright and we know that um, America is the revised Roman Empire, all right? We understand that, um, you know, it practices, you know, uh, the things of the first beast. You know, the little horn was healed. She is the eighth, you know, when you go into the, the scriptures, all right? And um, these are dark sayings, you know, and um, <clears throat> these celebrities and everything you see today from the music industry, you know, the movies, um, you know, even advertisement, you know, these are all being run by your elites, you know, the devil Esau Amalek, you know, and these people are given fame you know, money, riches, popularity, you know, just to be puppets, lesser luminaries, you know, to, uh, you know, keep the people in, in, in docile state, in a dead zombie zone state, you know. And it's why we thank Yahabah Shem Yahushai every single day to water Lord, you know, for bringing us out of that darkness into his marvelous light, as the scriptures say, his marvelous light. And we go into that, let's go into that real quick. Um, uh, marvelous <clears throat> light, Salaki, bear with me. All right, marvelous light. You know, something is all right. We're going to come back to it. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, First Peter two and nine. That's what I want. You know, it's, you know, with blue blue letter, you know, you got to be accurate. You know, uh, First Peter uh, two and nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye shall that ye should. Shew forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right? And this will apply to the elect this time around. All right? When it comes to the chosen generation, will be Israel. And the scripture said in Isaiah chapter 44, Israel, Jacob, is his chosen, his servant. But as a whole, at this time, only the elect will be that chosen uh, number. They're going to uh, be called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Because two-thirds of our people, they're going to they're gonna stay in the congregation of the dead. They're going to stay in darkness. You know, the scriptures say in Isaiah, gross, gross darkness. Now let's go into this word, marvelous light. <clears throat> Marvelous. All right. Let's go into this word. Marvelous. All right. Let's 
you can see. Strong's G, 2298, Thalmas Tas. Thalmas As you can see, wonderful, marvelous, worthy of pious admiration, admirable, excellent. Well, this is what I want to chime on. Passing human comprehension. Passing human comprehension. All right? See, we've been given the oracles. We've been given the unction from the heavens. And it separates us from your normal human operations when it comes to the mind and the spirit. Because the gift that we was given comes from the heavens. This is why we speak of heavenly things, as the scripture says. All right. Scripture talks about our conversation is in heaven, right? Let's go there real quick. Conversation heaven. <clears throat> All right. Philippians 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, man. And that's where we're hastening, man. That's what we're longing for. You know, we're craving for the return of our Lord because we know he's going to make all things right, man. All right? Scripture speaks about that. Matter of fact, let's go there real quick. <clears throat> let's go to Luke. And I'm just trying to bring certain scriptures to bring this story alive through the Spirit. All right. So Luke 12. All right. 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. This is Yahweh Shai. And what will I if it be already kindled? And um, the world is in turmoil. The world is. It's an uproars of the people. Why? Because Esau is in control. But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? See? So our Lord, is just, he's going to come back and make things right. He's going to come back to establish his throne. He's the one that's going to dethrone the proud princess, Esau, Edom. All right? He is the one that's going to come from the power from the heavens in an angelic force, a power beyond human comprehension. All right. So as I say, is that marvelous light. We've been given that light passing human comprehension, man. So while we understand what Esau is about, we know that. We've been given the gift to understand that he's the one that's trying to issue and usher in his new world order. And it's nothing different from back in the ancient world when you go to Genesis 10 and 8. And these are the sons of Ham, right? Cush, Mizraim, Fort Canaan, the sons of Cush, Sheba, right? Now when you get to verse 8 and 9, it says, and Cush beget Nimrod. Now we go up, <clears throat> Salaka, and Cush beget Nimrod, right? He began to be a mighty one in the earth, all right? And we know that this was the same time, around the same time that, you know, the Tower of Babel was being built. Now what the Nimrod means? Rebellion, see? Rebellion, all right? And this is the same sentiment that Esau is showing right now. Rebellion. He is, he is uh, he's anti Hamashiach because he knows that the, our Lord is the one that's coming back to destroy his kingdom. So he is against the new world order that Yahweh is going to establish. So he is trying to rebel against that order. He is trying to rebel against that prophecy, but prophecies will be accomplished. All right? In due season, as the scriptures say. <clears throat> Sirach uh, 39 and 16. All right? All the works of the Lord 
Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right, are exceeding good, and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season. All right. So the Lord, these prophecies will be fulfilled no matter what Esau attempts to alter and, you know, with his new world order and trying to carox everyone, you know, with that chip. But what I'm saying is everything goes back to this devil, man. All right. As you can see here, this is the article that came out a couple of years ago. And I don't know if they even built this yet, but this is an architect design of Amazon. You know, they want to build a mall and it, re and it, and it resembles the, the Tower of Babel. All right. See, Amazon has unveiled the design for one of the buildings on its East Coast headquarter campus. All right. And as you can see, <clears throat> it's similar to the Tower of Babel. All right. Show you that the connection between these ancient civilizations, you know, uh, are being uh, mimicked and run the same matter by Babylon the Great America. Same thing. All right. So when we go into, uh, I, I said all this, right? I'm going to get to the point for, for Maccabees, first 140. All right. So we can see that, um, you know, the story in the Maccabees, Antiochus plunders the temple in Jerusalem. All right. You see? So in the ancient world, during the Greek captivity, this would Antiochus plunders the temple. Scripture speaks about how he desecrated and defiled the temple with swine, you know, had prostitutes and harlots and orgies, you know, uh, being performed in the, in, the, in, the, in the temple. So, you know, and the story goes into how what the Lord uh, struck him, man, with a, a, an incurable disease, man, you know, for the wickedness he'd done. This is Esau, man. But he, he plunders the temple. Now he's going to come to do the same thing, but now he's coming to attack the spiritual temple. All right? The spiritual temple, Revelation 12 and 17, and the dragon, which was synonymous to the Roman Empire at that time, but it's Esau now. All right? Was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of the Most High Yahweh and have the testimony of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and that would be the elect, all right? Because the elect are the only ones that are going to praise Yahweh Shem Shai. They're going to keep his commandments and the testimony, all right? Which is what? The spirit of prophecy. It's what you see the prophets doing, start with the apostles on down, you know, speaking, you know, uh, uh, these prophecies to, to life, man. And this is killing Esau. So he's going to come for the, the remnant of her seed. This is the, He's coming for it. All right? So there's no difference today. We're the temple. The temple is being built right now. The Bayaf that will die. All right? And I say all this because it is. Let's go back to this video real quick. I'm going to show, I'm gonna show you something. All right, listen to A this. A sea of red continues to dominate the charts. Bitcoin is trading in the $60,000 range, down 14% in the past seven days. While many pundits and experts are still calling for a crypto summer, columnist and researcher Whitney Webb believes the entire outlook on Bitcoin is going awry. In an interview with TFTC, Whitney discussed her findings, and according to her research, the powers that be plan to crash every currency and turn the whole system into a surveillance state. You hear what that would <clears throat> you hear what he said? And um Whitney Webb, she has a lot of good information. You know, I'm subscribed to uh, about two of her channels. You know, she she goes in. You know, she has a lot of vital information when it comes to the economy, you know, the elites. Uh, and let's go back to what he said. Listen to carefully. Experts are still calling for a crypto summer. Columnist and researcher Whitney Webb believes the entire outlook on Bitcoin is going awry. 
In an interview with TFTC, Whitney discussed her findings, and according to her research, the powers that be plan to crash every currency and turn the whole system into a surveillance state. So the elites, which are the powers to be, their whole agenda is to crash all currency on the world and bring in a surveillance system. Mmm, a surveillance system. And this is what's going on right now. This is what you're going to have. You're going to have digital ID. You're going to have, you know, when the uh, Beetlejuice and the C-19 came out, everything was digital. You needed a digital passport you to, to travel. You, had, you needed a certain digital ID. Everything is going to be surveillance by Esau Edom when he corrects, he brings in that chip. See, right now you have the BRICS versus the G7. All right, you have the uh, the petrodollar that it's on its way out of here. So what Esau is going to do? Because Esau knows that's the stronghold of of his power is his dollar, and he sees that you know the BRICS are coming against it. You know we have Russia uh, uh, launching a digital his their digital assets. They're uh, uh, fighting the. Uh, get J.P. Morgan 400 million of their assets out of the banks. You know, we see there's a, 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 a fight among these currencies with these nations. But so what the elites are going to do, they're going to crash the whole currency system. All right. And that's when they're going to bring in a new world order, the Karagma. So this woman is, 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 is on track, man. Listen to it again. In an interview with TFTC, Whitney discussed her findings, and according to her research, the powers that be plan to crash every currency and turn the whole system into a surveillance state. A surveillance state, crash every currency. So Bitcoin, the CBDC, you know, the BRICS new system, Russia's new de digital uh, currency, the new, all of this is gonna be crashed. Because at the end of the day, the powers to be, which are the elites, they control everything. And remember, this is the Heavenly Father's doing, His will. All right? So even in the mind of these nations, they want to bring in, usher in their new uh, currency, the worldwide currency. They don't have to deal with the IMF and the dollar. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has other plans. He's going to usher in His karagma. All right? He's going to usher his karagma. Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, karax, karagma, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, say he, that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. <clears throat> and we're getting very close to this time, brothers. We're getting very close to this time, you know, and this is why we're preparing ourselves. But this all goes back to that rebellion, that Nimrod uh, spirit, that Antiochus epiphany spirit. You know, when we go first Maccabees one, let's go down to 40. <clears throat> all right. As had been her glory. So was her dishonor increased, and her excellency was turned into mourning, going into Israel, being in captivity. As you can see, Antiochus tries to replace Judaism with paganism. You know, no such thing as Judaism, but you, you get it. Got to be careful with our words. Again, this is fair use for educational purposes only. I'm going to tell them that a 1976 disclosure act because I know how you Esau Edomites get down. So as you see, Antiochia tries to what? Replace. Makes you think about what these scholars are doing now today through the beast system. Something called what? Replacement theology. Everything is about trying to replace the birthright, the covenants that was given to Jacob. All right, and Esau knows this, and we have we have been we have been waking to the truth, man. Going back to what beyond human comprehension, that chosen generation, which will be the elect, the elect will be given that heavenly 
a, a, a doctrine, you know, the secrets to understand this. And Esau knows this. All right. Let's let's go to verse 41. First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And that's what Esau is doing now. This is what he's trying to usher in. All right. His new world order. He wants everybody to be one people. There's no amazement. There's no surprise that he gave you Christianity, you know, and, and Catholicism, Islam, all these different denominations and philosophies. And all of them have one thing in common, that God loves everyone. We are all one human family which we understand through the scriptures and the prophecy that is not so. So it's no difference. The history is repeating itself. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. All right? One people. <clears throat> Genesis 10 and 8, and Cush beget Nimrod, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, in the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, which means confusion. All right? <clears throat> Babel. Strong's H894. Babel. Babel. See, this is confusion by mixing, all right? This is called the Great Melting Pot, Babylon, the Great America. And you have all different uh, denominations and religions and philosophies that are allowed uh, to be practiced here, all right? This place is full of confusion, all right? We see it, man. We see it every single goddamn day. The people... You know, uh, you know, you already know the, the alphabet groups, you know, these sodomites and, uh, and so on. It's a lot of confusion, man. And even within Israel, a lot of you Israelites that claim to be woke, you know, you're, you're confused with these different doctrines. You, you've been, you know, t entangled in that. That web, that spider's web of Esau's Edom's beast system. All right? So let's go back. So this was the, the, the beginning of this man's kingdom, you know? But his whole thing was to what? To build. The scriptures say, a universal language, babel, confusion. All right? The whole earth was one language and one speech all right whole the earth language one language all right one speech all right let's go into this word i'm just curious to see what that said one speech all right speech word occupation matter something chronicles commandment acts all right, let's go into the Strong's definition. See, we see something here. Okay, one speech. All right, this was what's going on during the time of Nimrod. All right, he, uh, 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 and this is what's going on in the earth today with Babylon, the great America. He wants everybody to be one people, you know, under their new world order, you know? Which, which only is going to bring what? More confusion. All right? All right, so he knows the prophecies. This is why he's going into what, let's, let's listen to a little bit more of this again. In an interview with TFTC, Whitney discussed her findings, and according to her research, the powers that be plan to crash every currency and turn the whole system into a surveillance state. According to Whitney, this is already occurring in parts of South America. And this is already happening. Now, matter of fact, let's, let's look at the surveillance state, how it will look. All right, surveil 
survey. Yeah, all right. Surveillance state. Let's see how this would look. All right. This is it right here. See everything, and that's what you see right now. There's eyes everywhere, even in your phone. All right. And 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 what Esau is going to do, he's going to issue his one new his new world order, his karagma. You're going to have to get that karagma to function in society. All right. And this man wants to see everything you're doing. All right. And again, this is public. Public information on Google. This is under the 1976 Disclosure Act, Copyright Act. All right. This is fair use, fair use. This is only for educational purposes only. And I'm not getting paid for none of this. I know how you eat mice get down. All right, this is what's coming. Everything's going to be monitored, supervised through the Karax. And he's going to bring in that chip. That's where he's coming. Let's listen to a little bit more, then I'm going to finish. The currency has debased so drastically that to have any purchasing power, citizens and companies alike are turning towards stable coins. According to her research, Whitney believes this is the global plan. However, we still have Bitcoin to combat what is taking place. Yet Whitney believes that the Michael Saylor store of value. Coinbase. Outlook and the general population's Bitcoin go up sentiment is taking away the true value and function of Bitcoin, which is a permissionless interaction between two entities. Whitney believes that the banks and Wall Street categorizing Bitcoin as just a store of value is playing right into their hands and is exactly the narrative they want the people to have. Whitney is urging everyone to wake up and not let Bitcoin get misused. Let's listen to what Whitney has to say. In talking about this public-private play, it's important to keep in mind that what happens, I mean, just look at this, the Treasury Secretary office alone. So like in Clinton, it was Robert Rubin, Rubin Goldman Sachs. He helps repeal Glass-Steagall. And then when that whole bubble pops in 2008, Goldman Sachs's Henry Paulson is set Treasury of the Secretary. Then it's Tim Geithner, who worked under Larry Summers and Robert Rubin, is Treasury Secretary under Obama. And then it's Steve Mnuchin, who was involved in the 2008 financial crisis and who... All puppets. Dad was one of the top guys at Goldman Sachs, and he was also Goldman Sachs. So what they do when they're in power is that they create policies that help benefit them. You know, they came from Goldman Sachs with intent... Yeah, let the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. You know, knocking down the middle class. You're either going to be rich or you're going to be wealthy. All right? And we know that these guys like J uh, Jamie Dimon that owns the CEO, J.B. Morgan Chase, uh, BlackRock, uh, uh, um, uh, what, what's his name? Flink, something like that, you know, which, which, which is a, a, a damn little hat, a J.J., all right, you're going to find out these are the synagogue of Satan, man, you know? ...to implement policies that benefit Goldman Sachs, right? And so generally what happens is, is that when the private sector wants something or they want, they've created a big market for something, they've invested lots of money in creating something like the carbon market, and no one's using the carbon market. They are going to then use the public sector to force people to use the carbon market. And so they're trying to do that through the un, through the guise of climate emergency, right? And that's not working. So if that's not working, how will they? Yeah, a uh, 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 false propaganda. Is, oh, we're doing it for climate change and all this BS, you know, to clean the air, you know. And all along, this man is all doing it for power, war, bloodshed, and a new world order. That's it. You know, I'm going to finish there. You know, I must continue reading some more of this. If it's some more information I'll bring out later on, if the spirit jumps on me through the spirit. You know, as you can see, hey, this devil is the same devil, man. He's going to usher in. Everything's coming in place, man. Call all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, Bashem Kakodash. Abba Ratzazai, Yahweh Ratzazai, you are edified in the spirit. Again, this is only for the elect and the elect lady and your children. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the overlect and the elect lady and your children once again.